Uh, hey folks, I'm going to be showing you here how I use Dolly, uh, you know, chat GPT, Bing, chat, whatever you want to call it, to make super ridiculously simple yet awesome logos. And I do apologize, uh, any graphic designers watching this, I do apologize. Um, but you know, this is stuff I would have paid for a couple years ago, uh, $80, $100 plus, uh, if not more than that, because these look phenomenal. I mean, this one here, that just looks amazing. I don't know what those numbers are, but that's easy to remove. Um, but all I did was uh, within ChatGPT, you do want to create, and I'll sh within you know, oh, I'll show you in a minute here. But um, I made up a fake business name, Shelley's Surf Shock, and so I said, uh, you know, with my uh, website, Shelley's Surf Shock. Uh, surfing blog that does reviews and how to surf posts. What does that name make you think of? And it gave me this information here, beach vibes, sunset silhouette, tropical flare, etc. So I said, create logo variations for me, please, based on one through four. I said, please do four of each. I knew it wouldn't, but it did one of each uh, style for me. Uh, and then it explains what the style is, what the prompt is to get that style. Now, obviously, if some of these are spelled incorrectly, let's say you were absolutely in love with this one, it'd be very easy to go to Fiverr and have somebody do a, a vector layered file of this, meaning you can take it in Photoshop or any, or any free uh, PSD photo editor, so you can actually edit that text to fix that yourself. It's really easy to do. Um, in this case, I really, really liked this one here, it's spelled correctly. And this one here, they just look awesome. And if you want more variations, you can say, you know, hey, give me more variations um, based on your know, number two and number three, which it did. And these also look ridiculously amazing. Again, that's spelled incorrectly. Uh, it's not always perfect with the spelling. But again, if you really love something like this one here, it looks phenomenal also. It's really easy just to go to Fiverr, find someone for a few bucks to create that uh, vector layout, uh, layered file for you. So here is how we do this. We're gonna go ahead and go to uh, a new chat. I'm gonna go over to chat GPT-4. And I'm going to go to Dolly 3, which is in beta testing. And all you do is, I mean, there's really no wrong way to do this. You can say create a logo or you can ask what it makes you think of. Let me think of an awesome name. I got nothing creative now, so hold on a second. I, let's say I'm doing a blog on, I don't know, on chainsaws. And I, I've got no idea what's in my blog, so we're going to have get some examples real quick here. Okay, so this is cool. I wanted to make a chainsaw blog and I asked it to give me, uh, I gave some basic information in my chainsaw review blog. It's not only reviews, but we give how to and informational content as well. So this fo focus should be on the brand name, not reviews. These are pretty damn good. Chainsaw Chronicle, Saw Sense, Lumber Logic. These are all clever and very, very brandable names that you could easily expand, uh, expand and sell later if you want. It's really good. So uh, in this case, I like Saw Sense. It's a bit, it's clever. I like it. Lumber Logic, Timber Tech Talk, Saw Mastery. Woodwork Wisdom. I like Woodwork Wisdom. And I actually like that because you can expand it later into other woodworking stuff as well if I want to expand past chainsaws. So, I'm going to want that or do I want saw sense? I'm going to go for saw sense because it's a bit shorter. So, uh, when you picture saw sense, what do you envision? Okay, so this is really cool. I said, when you picture Saw Sense, what do you envision? And it gave me so much more than just a logo. It gave me logo examples, color palette, website design, content ideas, community engagement. But here's what I like. Merchandise, events and workshops, sponsorships, tagline. Uh, it gives you ideas. Partners, uh, collaboration with Chainsaw Manufacturers, lumber yards, and woodworking professionals to bring exclusive deals, interviews, and insights to the Saw Sense audience. Uh, you might host or sponsor chainsaw safety and workshops. Obviously, that's more of a local thing as well. But uh, it really gives you a lot. And you could do partnerships. 
I don't know if there's any chainsaw influencers or not, but there's probably woodworking influencers. And that'd be an awesome way to get some traffic if you were gonna be promoting something besides just chainsaws, maybe a woodworking website. So I'm gonna ask it to create me four logo variations. And that's it. And it'll take just a moment here. It should start creating those for me. There we are. Okay, here's what it gave me. These four. That's actually kind of cool. And it gives you an example of as well. On the right side, it shows the prompt that was used to create that exact image. So when you ask for variations, it's going to give you four different things. I don't care for that one. That one I actually like. And that wood background is really clever. Uh, although they spelled it incorrectly. I showed you how to fix it already. So I'm going to ask for variations, I think, of... That one's okay. That's actually pretty clever. It's chainsaw blades on top of the eyeball. That's actually pretty clever. So uh, give me four variations of number one. Make the background. And the background why? It just makes it easier to clear the background from the image. Like this one here, if I tried to clear the uh, background, uh, with that wood being close to that wood, it might remove that border as well, which I don't like. Although I do like that one a lot. So uh, let's see what, see what it comes up with. Okay, uh, I asked for the variations. I actually don't care for any of these. They're too tall. I'm not really digging these at all. So I'm going to ask for more variations of number three. This one here, which I like a lot. And I'm also going to copy and paste the original prompt used to create that one. The background is... Let's see, hold on a second. See, the problem is I don't want that... Uh, I think that should work. I'm going to leave it like this because I like it too much. I don't want a chance for uh, making the background white and losing that brown border. So let's see what it comes up with here. Okay, and it gave me these four examples here. Uh, that one's actually good. Actually, I like this one a lot. I actually, wow. I actually really, really, really like this one. So uh, hold on one second here. So watch this. I'm going to copy that image. And I'm going to go over to canva.com, which if you guys are not familiar with, is just a photo editing tool. Uh, if you don't have a membership, if you're not already paying for it, it's, uh, I think, like 10 or 12 bucks uh, per month. It is beyond worth it. And you get a bunch of free stock photos you can use. Let me lower them shrink my image, you get free stock photos you can use. And it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal tool. And you'll see I've been using it to edit other uh, images right here as well. Which I'm sorry to say I cannot show you because it's some of my, my uh, money sites, but uh, they look nice, I promise. So we're gonna click on the photo. I'm gonna click on edit photo. And we're gonna try the background remover on the top left there. And that actually worked out really well. Wow. See, I was worried that it wouldn't be able to distinguish between the border behind this and the actual image itself, but it did. And that is damn good looking, man. I actually might buy SawSense.com. Hold on a second. That is freaking clever. If it's available, it might not be. We'll find out. Dot org. So someone's already got SawSense.com. I see what's on there. It just 301 redirects to Transcends technology. Okay. I don't like dot orgs. I'll probably buy the dot net. I mean, dot com is ideal. Uh, I also like .co. I think I actually might get the .co. It just looks freaking cool, man. I really like how that looks a lot. That logo is just clean looking. And, uh, you know, this is not something I would in a million years be able to design myself. 
It looks phenomenal. And you can read the text again here as well. Logo on a timber bound background. Or the S in Sausens is uh, a chainsaw blade with intricate details. The rest of the brown name is showcased in a refined metallic silver typeface. That just looks amazing. And again, this is stuff that I, I've paid for before, stuff like this. I've paid for stuff this good and sometimes not this good. Um, but I was able to do this on my own in a matter of, I mean, a few minutes, really. So uh, for some reason, chat GPT timed out. Gave me a network error, but that's fine. So I like this one a lot. And I like this one a lot. This one, because it's a bit thinner, th um, slimmer. I'd have to fix the spelling though with a vector file. Yeah, I think I've got a winner with this one here. It just looks phenomenal. So that's how I do it, guys. And here's the thing. Branding is ridiculously important when it comes to your business. You know, unless you can buy ChainsawReviews.com, you know, uh, you don't which is awesome. You want something that's brandable that doesn't limit you. You don't want like best-chainsaw-reviews.com something stupid like that. You want something that's brandable that you can expand on. People like being able to buy brands. You know, if I'm making a thousand bucks a month a month off of this for a year, I can sell it for 35 to 40 times the monthly income or 35 to 40 thousand dollars profit. It's going to sell much better if it has a really good brand name like this, like Saw Sense, instead of something stupid like I don't know, like just chainsaw dash review slash website dot org you know something that doesn't flow nicely off of the lips i call it the radio test say your domain names out loud i do this all the time it drives my wife crazy um you just say you know for more information visit saucesense.com for more information visit saucesense.co sounds pretty good but you know for more information, visit best-chainsaw-reviews.net. That just sounds stupid, you know? So say it out loud, you're gonna feel weird about it at first, but I promise there's been domains I thought sounded amazing before that I did not buy because I said it out loud and I thought, what was I thinking? So this looks awesome. It's easy to do this stuff. Um, hope this helps. Do it yourself. That's the next step. Any questions, let me know. And I guess I'll be a YouTuber. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. <laughs> Thank you guys very much.